Incoming transmission. Uh, I'm I'm recording right now. Right. So this this is the principle for the podcast. Right. I've already been recording. Just ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> ignore your no. recording time. No, I'm not gonna ignore anything. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's the Megalovania. <laughs> here's the principle, right? The, uh, you won't see it right now, but this is the setup. And we are we are in space. Just just roll with it. We are in space on an escape pod with no fuel, so we have no choice but to just set and wait it out. Go. Honestly, this sounds like a regular day to me. <laughs> Just drifting through space, alone, no communication. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's just uh, let's just just relax and eat our space food. You know, chill, nice little conversation. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Let's talk about random things that we've already been talking about, like YouTube and its trending page. <laughs> I'm I'm going to pretend that I've just walked in and you're at the kitchen. <laughs> you're in the kitchen on this escape <laughs> pod. By the way, I should I, I should mention none of this is edited. <laughs> yeah. We have, and the we have been recording for two minutes and we have broken the fourth wall so much. Hit <laughs> make myself a sandwich. Get out of here! I don't need you. <laughs> I came in to see. I don't even know you were I on could the goddamn ship. Make a sandwich shit. by myself. You've been back here this whole time making one sandwich for two hours. We've been adrift for seven say. days. <laughs> How long yeah, did you it take all... to choose bread? You know, all that time that I told you I was super busy. I was super busy. I couldn't make videos. I was just making a sandwich. <laughs> I was cutting some crust. <laughs> Do you know how difficult it is? Do you know how difficult it, it is was, to it smear butter in space? <laughs> it has to have perfectly cut tomatoes, <laughs> perfectly cut lettuce, it has to have the most beautifully cut bread, everything has to be perfect. See, so that I can send it to my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> The motive is revealed. <laughs> I, I wish the people that served me at Subway had that kind of dedication. <laughs> As the peop- she's just like, she's like, Tony, there's there's a cue for me. It's like, Linda, please, it needs to be perfect. <laughs> you see, you see, I have a position. And so the people that the, the subway that I go to basically knows me my face at this point. They know the sandwiches I get and everything, and they make it really good. <laughs> it's like those videos you see on YouTube where it's like the guy goes into McDonald's. And he's like, "Who made my burger?" He's like, "Who made it?" And he's like, "I did." He's like, "From now on, Who made you my make bur my burgers. <laughs> From now on, you make my shit." <laughs> From now on. I'll make my burger. Only you. <laughs> I don't care if you're at home or anything. You are gonna get called into work to work for five minutes and make me a sandwich. <laughs> Quality content right here. <laughs> what I do is I try and I mix up the sandwiches every so often, right? So that I psych them out. And it just... <laughs> I just, at one point I was just like I have to go into the subway and make sure that I order something completely different from what I normally get you start getting all those double commit. questions like are, are you sure you don't I, want ham and it's like yes I want cheese and it's like oh you, you, you normally get ham and it's like I, I know but I want cheese it's like so, so no, no I, ham no ham. I couldn't commit because I was like I really really like the sandwich <laughs> These in specific sandwiches that I make every time, I really like it. I remember. It's the whole reason I go to Subway is for this sandwich. I'm the exact same. I don't go to Subway for any other sandwich. It's just one, plus the ingredients <laughs> I get every single time. I never mix it up. <laughs> never. No matter which Subway I go to, it's always the same. Sandwiches you can get, but you just want one. <laughs> 
The rest of them suck. I just want one. Mine is, mine is all this call is single sandwich way because they all only get one sandwich. <laughs> Welcome to BLT, how can I help you? <laughs> What do you mean, how can I help you? I came to BLT to get a fucking BLT! <laughs> well, welcome to the BLT! What can I get you today, sir? Uh, I'll take a BLT. Uh, and do you want anything else, sir? I'll take another BLT. <laughs> Just like, freak them out. Is like, welcome to BLT, how can I help you? What have you guys got? <laughs> Sir, sir, are you sure you don't want a burger this time? No, no, I'll take a BLT. <laughs> like, I did the same thing. Like, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I went into a uh, Burger King once, and it was like my f all first and only experience in Burger King. And I went in there, and this is like a whole new, like, chain restaurant to me. It's like, I have no idea what the menu's like. I'm trying my hardest to read these menus, and I'm like, I, c I don't understand any of this. You know, like, when you're trying to explain to someone what a Big Mac is, it's like, when they don't actually know it's food. It's that whole situation where I went into Burger King and I looked at the menu and it's like, none of it appealed to me, so I just simply asked them, I was like, can I just get a plain plain cheeseburger? And she looked at me as if to say, do you mind if I dig up your grandmother and fart in her mouth? She looked at me like, y you want, you want what? You came to Burger King to get a burger, that's it, and I'm you, like, you you yeah. came to the king of burgers to get a plain burger? Yeah. Preposterous. <laughs> I was like, can I just... She actually had to go and ask a manager if it was okay. I shit you know, 100% <laughs> real. She want, walked off and she came back and she's like, we don't have that on the menu, but we I will don't. punch it through as something else and just charge you the same. <laughs> I was like, are well, you serious? Well, what you can do is you can get a normal Whopper and ask us to remove everything you don't want. <laughs> I was... It's the same thing, but yeah. it makes it more difficult. Because yes. we at Burger King like difficult orders. <laughs> and then, like, keep it, keep it in mind, this is my first experience here. I wander off after getting my plain cheeseburger. I wander off and she goes, she goes, excuse me. And I'm like, yeah. She goes, you forgot your receipt. And I'm like, am I going to return this? What what do I need the receipt for? <laughs> what do I need the receipt for? I just wanted a burger. <laughs> After that, I was like, they were like, what took you so long? And I was like, don't, just, just don't you know even what? start. <laughs> it was such a horrible experience for me. <laughs> I've never been back. <laughs> Hey, okay, so here's a here's a fun little story. Mm -hmm. So I worked at I'm, Sonic. I'm just right? gonna rest my hand on the the countertop. <laughs> so I worked at Sonic, and there was this one guy. Oh wait 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 wait. Y yeah. Let's see, I, I'm yeah. I'm a, I'm aware of what this is, but you're gonna have to explain. What is Sonic? It has nothing to do oh, with Nintendo. So what is what is Sonic? What is Sonic? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not a thing over here. So, I'm like you I know, said, I'm fully aware no, of what it is. That is the hedgehog, you know, the blue one. So it's 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 a fast food no, restaurant just thing, right? It's it's an American fast food restaurant. Yeah. Uh, See, I'm aware it of it, but serves, we don't have that. It serves a whole plethora of ice cream. That it, that's its main appeal. Ah. Um. We have something like that. Basically, I can't remember what it's, it's called. It's a car dining thing, you know, like you eat in your car thing. Yeah, whatever like the you want to call the, those. The whole sixties drive-through things. Right. Uh, but basically, I was working at this place, and there was this other guy, and for confidential reasons, I'll call him Agrol. <laughs> <laughs> I can now, just, Agrol. I can just see so many of our Asian community just like triggered right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you gotta call him egg roll, huh? <laughs> no, no, egg roll. <laughs> he worked at Sonic and he worked at McDonald's, right? Oh, God. So every time I would I would go and work at Sonic, right? I'd be working with him for yeah. a very long time. And he'd make all these jokes and all these silly little things. And I would be like, hey, yo, so maybe, maybe I'll go stop by your McDonald's. And 
I legitimately, legitimately, I told him the exact order that I was gonna get on the day that I went to his store, his McDonald's, when I knew he was working. <laughs> and he, he was all like, no, 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 don't worry about it. I'll make it fresh for you, right? Right. And so I walk in the McDonald's, right? And I'm like, hey, you, can you tell, <laughs> can you tell Agro that I, that I'm here to get my food? <laughs> and so I ordered my food, and I'm, I'm disappointed, right? Because he promises me fresh food, right? Yeah. And I get probably the farthest thing <laughs> from fresh food you can get at McDonald's. <laughs> Isn't that all McDonald's? <laughs> it's all McDonald's, but it was oh. it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice. The buns were cold. <laughs> the cheese was already disgusting. <laughs> the French fries were stale. <laughs> it was just terrible. You and just... so I go back the next day to work, and I'm just like, hey, yo, hey. Uh, I went to your I went to your uh, McDonald's, and I ordered this food that you promised me it would be fresh, and it was disgusting. And he was like, no, 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 it was fresh. Trust me. And I was like, no, no, no. I'm the one that ate the food, buddy. I know whether it was fresh or not, and it was not. And so he's like, it's coming food, and it'll all be fresh. And I'm just like. I can see where this is going. You're just gonna keep making me the bad food and promising me good food. <laughs> McDonald's guys. I feel like this, this is, is a the warning. Whole idea behind McDonald's. Yeah, I feel like this is like a they don't do it. They promise you things they can't deliver. <laughs> I'm sorry, McDonald's. Please don't sue me. You make good food. You make you 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 make manageable food for a cheap price. <laughs> you make the world's okayest burger. <laughs> <laughs> the most okay burger. It's not phenomenal, but it works. <laughs> oh my god! Like when when you get when you get big on YouTube. And I see you doing a, an ad deal for McDonald's. I am so calling you out. <laughs> yeah, why are you selling out to McDonald's, man? I thought we had a thing. We I, I have <laughs> proof, man. <laughs> you sold out. <laughs> you sold out to McDonald's for money, didn't you? You've been exposed. <laughs> I love seeing like when when YouTubers do that when they do sub deals, and they're like you know like someone's like oh we'll we'll sponsor you for a video and they're like oh like this this game was great you should check it out or like they do like a a brand deal, and then like right. two years later they're like oh man you remember that video I did for this company like yeah it's like that game was so fucking terrible. Data received.